You saw the title, so you know what this is. This is part two. Watch part one first if you haven't. Uh, my thoughts on the Smash Direct, going through all the things, the facts one at a time. Number 31, controller options. We already knew about it. Number 32, GameCube adapter. We already knew about it. 33, 3DS controller. We already knew about it. 34, custom connection. We already knew about it. Great way to start this video. But you know what? It's still it's still pretty cool to see all that. And actually, the custom connection is a big thing because I, uh, you know, I like the fact that you are going to be able to do all your custom movesets. Not just the custom, like, enhancements but the custom special moves as well um because and it sounds like those that's the first thing they thought of because of what he said he's like you can you can bring all your custom movesets and he's like and even the outfit or the enhancement so it sounds like oh that's the extra the, the movesets were the first thing you thought of because that's a lot to unlock so you know i'm glad you don't have to unlock all of it again if, if i've already unlocked a really good custom moveset like if i unlocked it all on the 3ds i would not have to unlock anything on the wii u basically um, but it would be a lot, so, you know, it'll probably be able to, I'll probably be able to unlock some stuff, so I'm not too worried about that, but it's still very cool. Uh, number 35, more trophies than ever before. Actually, trophies are a big deal for me. I could very easily pass through this thing, oh, trophy, trophy, but no, I love the trophies in Smash games. I just hope the descriptions are a little longer, even though I love the descriptions in the 3DS version. Um, but yeah, more trophies than ever before, that's awesome. Uh, final Smash trophies. I was wondering where those were. So that's kind of cool that there are those unique trophies. But there's already a lot of unique trophies, so, between the two versions. Uh, number 37, uh, trophy box. This is cool. They said they did this for completionists, and that's me. I mean, I've, I don't think I've ever gotten every single trophy, but this will definitely, you know, make me much more aware of what I need to get and say, ooh, I just have a, ooh, I got a lot of these. And it's going to be really cool looking through those sets. That is cool. I love that. Um, let's see here. Number 38, Photo Studio. This is another really cool thing. I hope it's as good as it looks and they weren't just showing off the best of it. But, you know, it does look like it'll be pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of, I was actually kind of disappointed. There wasn't a mode where you could, you know, drag the trophies around and take pictures. Now there is. It looks more beautiful than ever before. I love it. Uh, number 39, Trophy Rush. Uh, to be honest, I kind of didn't want this. I kind of liked the one from Brawl better. The main reason being that you can just keep going. You don't have to keep resetting it and saying, oh, three minutes, three minutes. And you can also see what's new and what's not. But what I do like about Trophy Rush is that you can actually play as the character. So it is different, you know, and you have to devise the best strategy. And you can play as two players with two players in the Wii U, so that'll make it better. But, you know, if I'm going to play with two players, I think getting trophies is going to be the last thing I do. <laughs> I, mean, I like it, it's just that I don't know other people that do. Um, uh, number 40, Masterpieces. Uh, this is coming back. I actually kind of forgot about these, but it's cool that it's coming back. They said it was a quick startup, which is good. In Brawl, it took forever to load, um, which I'm guessing is the reason they said that. They also have cool art on the covers for the Masterpieces. And I also like that you can go directly to the eShop and buy it from there. That's a, that's a great idea that you're able to do that. And I'm wondering if they include demos of more recent games, too, because... I mean, not every character in Smash comes from that long ago. I mean, I'm, I mean, I don't know. Put in a Xenoblade demo. <laughs> that's that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Put in a Xenoblade demo because I want to see where Shulk came from. <laughs> uh, you know, they're putting in an Earthbound demo, a game that was also once very, very expensive, which I think the Japanese Brawl actually had one, but well, now it's for everyone. Uh. Remember when the Earthbound series was so taboo? Nah, eh, it still is. Mother Three still needs to come to America, officially. Anyways, uh, enough of that. Uh, number 41, Amiibos. I know almost nothing about this even after watching it, but it still looks cool. <laughs> I'm guessing once they come out, I'll be able to watch someone play it and know more about it. But it, it seems like it'll be cool. It seems kind of like the Chalice from Sonic Adventure 2. Yeah. That's about all I have to say. Uh, number 42, internet connection and LAN adapter. Uh, not much here. This is just saying don't blame it on the game if your connection sucks. That's all it said. But you know what? That's a good lesson because people are complaining about the lag in the new game. It's your connection. The, the game doesn't really have that problem in the 3DS one. Uh, number 43, notifications. Uh, I, like, I do like this because that's going to lead into tournaments, spoilers, a couple down the list, 
Um, so that's cool that they do that. And of course, you can see all the notifications you get, I think, like you always could. Uh, number 44, two players online. I Could you do two players online with any like with anyone before? I don't know. I know you could do it with friends, but it's still really cool that you can do this, so I'm glad. I mean, it seems like, like I said, everything's going to be two-player, which I, I really like. Um, number 47, online tournament hosting, creating your own tournament rules and stuff. Um, you know, I think they made it clear it's not intended as, like, a thing for competitive players, you know? It's, it's just like in Mario Kart 7, but it seems like there'll be more options this time. Uh, but they're not done with it yet, so I, I am excited to see what they come up with. Um, and it should be a good thing for the, the updates and notifications thing. Uh, and then 46, offline tournaments, just like there were in Brawl and Melee. Although, here, Melee had six, I think Melee had 64. Brawl went down to 32, and now this one goes back up to a max of, of 64. But, I mean, if you can play with 8 at a time, that, that would be actually kind of interesting and unique. I never really cared much for the in-game tournaments, but, eh, they're there. Which is good, um... Because that was kind of a staple of the series since Melee. And once again, it's one of those things. Uh, number 47. Uh, you can you can use the gamepad to to play. Um, but here's the thing. I, I really hope they did this. If you're not using the gamepad... As a, actually, this really doesn't matter. But um, in other games, like if you're not using the gamepad as a screen, you can't hear the music through the headphones. So that's the only reason I do like games like Super Mario 3D World, where the only thing the gamepad does is just show what the TV does. Or like New Super Mario Brothers U and stuff like that, because you can actually hear the music through the headphones. In Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, you can't do that unless you play on the gamepad. So Smash should be fine with that, which I'm glad about. Uh, number 48, photos, paint. And you can send them online with friends. Uh, yeah, you take photos, you can... Draw on them, which is a which is a first. Um, I won't be able to draw as well as those people in the videos, but I'm guessing I'll see a lot of great fan art, and it'll be great. Number forty nine, voice chat. The thing is, everybody's making the most fun of just because of what they said, and I swear they did that on purpose. <laughs> like made it so they wanted people to laugh at them because they know people aren't gonna say that. You know, people aren't gonna use the voice chat to say nice things. You know, it's true. But, you know, Nintendo knows that, and, you know, blocking out words for the names is better than, you know, not letting you see names altogether. And voice chat, well, hey, since it'll be private, I guess you can do anything you want there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think it's good. You can't do it, I think you can only do it with friends, which is good, because a lot of people don't like hearing everything that random people have to say. And you can't do it in the battles, though, which I guess that's fine. You know, if you do want to do it in the battles, you know, you use your cell phone or Skype or other things. But, yeah, I'm glad they did that because there are people, I think there are people that think, oh, the Wii U can't do voice chat. I mean, there, as CJ says, there, there is a built-in microphone on the controller, and other games have done it. So, it's fine. You know, it's really good that they did this. Um, and then we get to number 50. Um, now at this point I'd kind of forgotten about what I most wanted to see, even though I, I knew it was in the game, but oh, it blew me away. Number 50, Stage Builder. The best thing you can use the Wii U gamepad for. Oh my god, yes. This is a huge opportunity. This sounds like something I should have thought of, and thankfully they did. Uh, this is a huge opportunity that they didn't miss. They got it. Thank goodness. Oh, man, I'm going to have so much fun with this. It is going to be awesome. I'm going to create, and it looked like not only will you be able to create more, but you'll be able to do it a lot faster, too, a lot more. So, you know, bro, I I probably have only ever created, like, 20 stages total. <laughs> like, I love doing it, but it's like, I can't create that many because there's only so much you can do. Like, with Brawl, I kind of got... It takes me a while to get a new idea for one. This one, I'll certainly be able to make a lot more, and hopefully it'll hold more memory, too. I really hope you'll be able to play with friends online with them. That would be so nice, because you couldn't do that in Brawl. Um, but then, as we got, saw in Fact 51, which came right after Fact number 50. Uh, so, yeah, 51. You'll be able to share custom stages and share photos 
and replays with your friends. That's all good. I think you could do all that in Brawl. Um, yeah. But it's still nice to see it. I'm guessing it'll be a better process. And we had the others, all the things here in both the 3DS and the Wii U version. So aside from Smash Run and the Choose Your Own Path classic mode, there's really not going to be much that was in that version. It's not going to be in the Wii U version. Um, and then we saw the Bowser Jr. trailer. I didn't really, I didn't expect a new character. So I'm like, huh? well, wait a minute, I've seen what these guys can do. But no, it was just Bowser Jr. It would have been an awesome trailer if it had come when I didn't know he was come when, when I didn't know he was in the game. But I understand why they did it. He's a hidden character in the 3DS version. You know, some people probably still didn't know. So I'm guessing there's, there's got to be at least one person that didn't know that saw that and was very excited. And even knowing it was real, it was a really cool trailer. Um, um, and speaking of which, that led into fact number 52. They're going overboard. Uh, fact number 52, you can see all of the battle movies, that, like all the trailers, the Nintendo Direct things. In Brawl, you can see the E3 trailer and Snakes and Sonics. And I kind of wondered, huh, were there trailers for more characters? Because I didn't really keep up with the internet that well back then. I was a lot younger. Um, but, yeah, this... <clears throat> it's very cool. They do have all of them in this time, and I love a lot of those trailers, too. Um, so it's really cool that they have all those in. And I also saw opening movie in there, so I hope the opening movie will be really cool. Um, you know, like opening the game. Number 53, a bonus for buying both the 3DS and the Wii U version. Yeah, the soundtrack. <laughs> Thought I was going to say something else? No, that's the next one. But yeah, the soundtrack, which I'm... Hey, I'm getting both the 3DS version and the Wii U version. I get a CD, two CDs, 72 songs total. And the Zelda CD that came was so awesome. I love that CD. You know how many songs that one had? Eight. Eight songs. This one had 72 between the two. Jesus, that's awesome. It is cool having a CD. You know, it's, it's a cool collector's item, even though you can get them all on YouTube. Oh. And then number 54, which... Uh, Okay, where do I start with this? First of all, my first reaction was shock. I did not expect them to go with a new character, to give us a new character. But if they gave us one, did it really have to be Mewtwo? Uh, I know a lot of fans are happy, and that, that's great, but you know what? Uh, okay, I, I don't really care for Mewtwo. I'm very, very indifferent, which is where I didn't... I don't think people really were that excited about Mewtwo being in Melee. I don't really remember. Were they? Yeah, it, seemed like, it seems like they were only excited once he was gone. Then, well, then they got pissed, and now, now obviously, they're very excited. Uh, first of all, the controversial thing, there's... Uh, the, thing, the thing I am upset about is different from what most people are upset about, which is the fact that you need both versions in order to get this. And that is the thing... If this was anything other than Mewtwo, no one would even think twice about that. they think, oh, it's just... Hell, okay, I'll say anything other than a playable character. Because it, if it was you-know-who, people would make a big deal about that. Um, uh, you know, so... But, like, if it was just a stage, or if it was just a, a, tr a set of trophies, people would... And if it was a stage, I would think it's a big deal. But, you know, people don't... You know, people like the characters. The playable characters, um, or costumes, even costumes, people wouldn't make a big deal about. But yeah, because it's a playable character, you make a big deal about the fact, and they think Nintendo is a money whore, which isn't really, I don't, I don't think that's what they're trying to do. I think they're trying to give a bonus to people who've already bought the 3DS version and the Wii U version, because let's be honest, this trailer, they did not want it to make it seem like, oh my goodness, look at all this stuff they cool Wii U version has. The 3DS version is going to be obsolete. Thanks for your money. A lot of people were actually saying that. <laughs> so, you know, this thing is kind of like, okay, this is a reward for buying the 3DS version. So that's the way I see it. Is this the way everyone else sees it? No! Of course not. And is this the way it's actually going to be? Hell no! Hell no! There are people who are going to buy the 3DS version just to play as Mewtwo. He's that popular. So it's not what they were intending to do, but it definitely looks like it. But I, I can tot I can see 
that this is not what they were intending. They were intending this to be as a reward to their fans and to say, okay, the 3DS version, first of all, it's not. If you think it's obsolete, well, okay, here. At least there's one good reason you bought it, which I don't think it should be obsolete. It's a handheld. If handhelds were more powerful than console versions, there'd be no reason to have consoles. So, yeah, it's fine. And the handheld still has... What does it still have? Well, it's handheld still has handheld, being able to play it on the go, and uh, Smash Run, and uh, being able to play it on the go. Uh, you know? Uh, yeah, no, it does have some things. Uh, the stages that are unique, and the Wii U version stages look like they're going to be a lot better. But there are some good stages on the 3DS version. Um, so, I just... So I'm not mad about this, I'm just kind of indifferent to it, and all the hype is hitting, and it's distracting from the other 53 facts. No, I have the 52 facts, because there's uh, number 11, which people are focusing on all the wrong things. But here's <clears throat> where I am going to be mad, is if this is the only DLC character, which I'm hoping it's not. And that, and also I'm hope I think that they will actually offer Mewtwo, like, at a, at a price later. They're just having it for free for the people who bought the 3DS version. Um... You know, it's just like the Ambassador titles for the for the 3DS. Except the only difference is here, there is actually a version to go back. And because it's until March, you know, you do have time to save up. But I think that's the problem. A lot of people don't want the 3DS version. But, they are, but there are people. I saw at least one person who rushed out, like on a comment, said that he rushed out and bought the 3DS version today. Just so he'll get to play his Mewtwo. <laughs> Well, at least he bought it now, so we'll have he'll get to play Smash before the Wii U version comes out. How much time do I have? Do I have enough time to talk about this next thing? Uh, oh, the battery's low, so I'll, I'll make it quick. I will not go too long about this. So I'm going to go on a mini rant, and I will keep it mini. Okay, of the 54 facts, one that we did not see was a new adventure mode like the Subspace Emissary. In my opinion, this is a huge, 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 huge disappointment um, to put to not have an adventure mode, because in Brawl, that's that was a huge thing, that's a huge reason why I really love Brawl so much, and there's not one in this game, and I seem to be the only person who cares, honestly, I don't know why, but it's a big thing, uh, I know he said a long time ago he wasn't going to do one, I was mad then, I was just hoping he'd come to his senses, he didn't, he didn't, no, I shouldn't say he, because it's a lot, of, it's a lot of people, and... I, let me make this clear. They did put a lot of effort into the game. And they did put a lot of effort into making all the characters, all that stuff. <clears throat> they put a lot of effort into this. But when creating the new modes, they got lazy. Okay? They did. Because there, there's only two new modes, let's be honest. Because um, all the other ones, like Target Blast, are small and they're just replacing. So the two new modes are Smash Tour and the other thing. The crazy hand mat, the, the hand orders. That sounds wrong. Um... Those are the only new things. I'm really hoping the Master Hand Orders things can take off and be something and can be constantly updated. That would be very cool. But even if, and if not especially, um, it's really disappointing that there's no story mode in this. And there's no mode. And I don't give two craps about the cutscenes. Okay, I really like the cutscenes. And first of all, what about those other cutscenes? Those five second movies or whatever those were. The, the short movies for the characters. What about the opening cutscenes? How are you afraid of them being leaked? Everything gets leaked. Also, Smash Brothers for the Wii U is coming out in America first. It won't get leaked. How does it get leaked? It get leaked for Japan? But everything gets leaked. Everything gets leaked. You don't want to... Everything gets leaked. Uh. Okay. All in all, though, that's... I'm really excited for this, because looking at all this 50 facts, again, actually, and not, and not just focusing on the things that were disappointing to me, and all the other disappointments I had were really minor. I think I only had two other disappointments that were uh, minor at all, um, but it wasn't that much, so overall, I actually am really excited for this game. So, uh... That's about it. I'm really excited for this. I did have to go on a mini rant at the end. And the Mewtwo DLC, you know what? I'll, I'll play as him. I didn't like playing as him in Melee, but hopefully I'll like him more now. 
Uh, I just hope there's going to be more DLC characters. I mean, come on, the only thing you can add is a Pokemon character. How about another Zelda character? How about another Donkey Kong character? And the good thing is there's no clock on this. There's no clock on this. You have as much time as you need. If you start it now, you can still have it ready. I don't care if it's a year from now. If you have, like, a pack, that'd be fine. I'm very excited to play the Wii U version four weeks from now. Hope you are or are later. Not every 50, one of these 50 facts was a huge hit, but a lot of them were. Um, some of them were just nice reassurances. <clears throat> Overall, it was a very exciting direct to watch. Watching all the footage was great, too. The game is beautiful. Get it. Bye.